We play and call it work. Hey folks, Janine from Mini Wargaming here with another how-to video for you. In this video, we are going to paint the horns on this converted Chaos Renegade Knight. This is a really long horn and it has a lot of these textured steps to it. So we are going to do a gradient all the way from a really dark brown to a really light bone color and we're going to highlight some of the edges. As always, if you have suggestions for something you'd like to see in a future how-to video, please leave them down below in the comments. We're going to begin with the color Doomble Brown. We're going to mix it with a little bit of Lamian Medium. And we are going to do that with all of our paints for this video. And I'm going to paint this color next to where the horn begins, right up next to the teeth. I'm going to paint it over about a quarter of the horn area. I want to make sure that I use a nice thin paint, but it's still a pretty dark color, so it's going to cover pretty well. However, it's okay to add a few layers to make sure that we get a really nice opaque coat of this color. And I wanna make sure that I apply this on both of the horns, and I want it to go all the way around and underneath the horn as well. Once I have that Doom Bowl down, I'm going to take some Scrag Brown, and I'm going to mix it into my Doom Bowl Brown about 50-50. And we're going to apply this color over about half of the area that we just painted with the Doom Bowl and about an equal amount of unpainted horn. So this is going to help us blend the colors together, kind of help us create a gradient so that we can go all the way to a really light color at the end of the horn. Again, since we have Lamy and Medium in our paint, it may take us a couple layers to really work up the color and that's fine. We can also use this layering process to paint slightly less of the horn each time that we apply it, and that will also help blend the colors together. Next, we're going to use pure Scrag Brown. And we're doing the same thing with this color. We're painting about half of that 50-50 mixture area and half of the blank horn. The lighter and lighter these colors get, the more layers it's going to take to really make an opaque color on the horn, since right now it's black. And that's kind of going to be how we paint the rest of this horn. We're going to do a 50-50 mixture with our next brightest color. Then we're going to go in pure with that color and so on until we go all the way up to our really lightest color. The next step is going to be to take some Deathclaw Brown. We're gonna mix that into our Scrag Brown 50-50. As we apply this, we're going to end up having just painted a little bit more than half of the horn area at this point. And we just wanna go slow. This color especially is gonna take us a while to build up, but we wanna make sure that we don't put it on too thick. We wanna work with very thin layers, build it up slowly so we don't lose any detail or gloop anywhere. And we wanna make sure that we get all of the paint into all of the nooks and crannies on the horn. Since it's sculpted to have so many textured steps on the horn, the paint can kind of pool there if we're not careful with our consistency and if we're not careful with how we apply it. Next, we're using the color Deathclaw Brown. And we want to paint this over half of that 50-50 mixture. But with this color, we're actually going to go ahead and paint it all the way down the rest of the horn, just because it's going to be a lot harder to paint our next really bright colors over the black. It's gonna be much easier to apply them over this Deathclaw Brown color. Our next step is Ushapti Bone. This is mixed with our Deathclaw Brown 50-50. And as I apply this color, I'm actually going to start at the top of the horn and apply it further down, just kind of to the point where I feel like the gradient needs to begin lightening again, about where I would have started if I hadn't painted this entire horn Deathclaw Brown, if I had just kept with my gradual progression. I'm also going to use a little bit of this color to pick out the top ridge of this horn. I'm going to pick out all of the ridges a little bit later, but I want this very top ridge that's sculpted to be pretty bright and pretty prevalent. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of a base coat about halfway up the horn using this really light color. And I'm gonna go ahead and paint the ridges that are right next to this central one as well. Next, I'm using pure Ushapti Bone. 
We don't really need to paint a lot of this color. We're using it to just paint a very small section of the horn. So I'm just applying a little bit of this right to the tip. With this color, I'm also going to switch to a detail brush and I'm going to highlight the horizontal ridges that are sculpted on this horn. I'm not going to highlight all of them. I just want to highlight the area that goes about into where the pure death claw is. And then after that, I'm going to use my 50-50 mixture of Ushapti bone and death claw to highlight a little bit further up the horn, but not all the way up. I don't want that to go all the way up to the very dark pure doomble brown that we have right where the horn begins. Next, we're going to use the color Screaming Skull. And I'm not really painting a section of this color. I'm just using it as a line highlight to pick out the very tip of the horn and to outline a few of the ridges in the area that I just painted with the Ushapti bone. Our next color is gonna be Nuln Oil. And with this color, I'm going to apply it just on my darkest area of the bone that area that I kept pure doomble brown. I'm going to make sure that this goes right in the recessed areas. And so instead of having a highlight on the ridges, this is going to sink into the shadows and it's going to create a low light instead. And after the Nuln oil has dried, the long horns on this Renegade Knight are complete. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more how-to videos, I have another one where I'm going to paint some scrolls on this Renegade Knight in the mini Wargaming Vault in the link down below in the description. If you don't already have a vault membership, you can go ahead and click the link, sign up for a seven day free trial, and get access to my video as well as hundreds of other videos in the mini Wargaming Vault. So go ahead, click the link, start your free trial, and happy Wargaming.